All right, so someone had a question. Can I do keto and intermittent fasting if I'm a diabetic on metformin and insulin at the same time? Okay, now, I don't know if this person is a type 1 or type 2. Uh, chances are you're a type 2 going into a type 1 eventually. But here's the difference. Type 1 is a problem with the pancreas not producing insulin. Okay, Type 2 is more of a problem with the receptor end not receiving insulin. And the feedback goes back and causes the pancreas to produce more insulin to compensate. So it's a compensatory adaptation type thing. Okay, so you have higher amounts of insulin. But both of these situations, type 1 and type 2, have high blood sugars. Okay, so metformin makes the receptor more receptive to insulin. And insulin just gives you uh, what the pancreas is not providing the body. But the problem is... If you're a type 1, they're giving you insulin. Your insulin's going to be high now because you're going to be taking insulin to control this out-of-control blood sugar. So in both of these conditions, you have high sugar and high insulin Okay, at the same time. Now, it's more dangerous to have high insulin than it is to have high sugar. There's more problems. Um, sustained high levels of insulin uh, destroys the, the retina, the kidney, the arteries, the brain. Now, of course, high sugar will do it too, but high insulin creates even more destruction. So the goal is to take the least amount of insulin possible, right? It makes sense. So if you're type 1, maybe your cells are completely destroyed of um, any chance of recovering, but we still want you to take the least amount of insulin possible. So it would make sense to avoid the triggers of insulin, okay? Unfortunately, the American Diabetes Association does not recommend what I'm going to recommend, but there needs to be more focus on the diet and the frequency of eating because reducing your carbohydrates and doing intermittent fasting are the two things that are going to allow the person to take the least amount of insulin, okay? And it's also going to help improve insulin resistance which will take the stress off the, the liver and the cells. So this is, that's the long answer, but the short answer is yes, you can do keto and intermittent fasting if you're a diabetic on metformin and insulin, and hopefully you can work with your doctor to have them wean you off some of these or the, at least the amounts so you can have the least amount of side effects. Thanks for watching. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before